Welcome back everybody. You're watching the Handyman Business YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about this low slope roof repair that I did for $5,000. There were a lot of questions about my pricing and why I chose this number and did I choose correctly. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the project. It was for an investment property, a very old building, 115, 120 years old. It has a low slope roof. It's a triplex row house, single story, but really tall, 25 feet to the top of the parapet wall. It's an investment property. Each unit's individually owned. There was a leak in one area. Actually, there was two leaks, but it only happens when there is a torrential downpour. My job was to repair the leak. And if you could, can you make that roof look good? It doesn't look good enough to sell if it needed to go to the market. So when I went up there, easily found the leaks. You can see that in the video. And I had a lot of comparables of what it needed to look like. I had the middle unit and the other end unit. And I also had an adjacent building that had a top notch, very expensive new roof put on. So most all my experience is in residential roofing, siding, windows, anything to do with a single family house. I basically had the instruction manual right there in front of me because I had the other two units. The other units are the same age, they've had the same roof problems, and they have had roof repairs. Well, that's what I did. I went over, looked at their roof repairs and said, oh, I can do this. This was a learning experience for me. So I was keeping that in mind throughout this whole process. I wanted to do what I believed best practice for this application. Now, there's a lot of small repairs or short-term repairs that I could have done. My goal was five to seven years. I think I'm gonna get longer than that out of these repairs. I wanted it to look like a commercial roofing company came in and renovated this roof. When you have an investment property, you need to keep certain things tip-top shape. And one of the things that will dissuade buyers is a bad roof. And even worse is a weird bad roof, like a low slope. These buyers may not be accustomed to flat roofs or low slope roofs. And when their home inspector comes back with pictures that shows, oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is like this, they're just gonna walk away. But if you have a new roof, looks brand new, quite proud of the way that it came out, can't tell. That is a big sigh of relief for the potential buyers. I wanted to touch on some things that do not dissuade buyers. Ugly tile, ugly paint, ugly cabinets. Buyers these days are not dissuaded by interior finishes, not being tip top at the cutting edge of the immediate trend lines. So if you do have an investment property, focus on the roof, focus on drainage, uh, any water leaks in the basement, things like that. Don't worry too much about the interior finishes. What's interesting is throughout the process of this video series, there was the first video of just visiting the roof, taking some measurements and introducing the project to the audience. And people were like, Whoa, $5,000, that's a lot of money, handyman. Then second video comes out and people started to change their tune a lot. They're like, hmm, mate. Maybe you didn't charge enough, handyman. At the end of the third video, people were saying that I could have charged an extra $3,000. Obviously, I didn't lose money. I was into it for $1,500 and some change. Did I keep track of every tube of caulk? No. Charged $5,000. Not a bad profit for one week of work. And I wasn't there eight hours a day or 10 hours a day for five hours. It did not work like that at all. The weather threw so many curveballs at me, and it was like two hours this day. Can't go that day because that has to keep drying. There was cure time for the primer. That needed a minimum of 24 hours before I could put the rolled roofing on. Then we had rain. There was a lot of rain delays. So the entire project took about a week to complete from start to finish. I'd say I had about 20 hours. And that includes two trips to this company that made the parapet wall caps. I talked about their kind of horrible customer service in the actual project videos. They probably need to implement Jobber to manage their business because they could not even answer a phone call, return a phone call, send an email, nothing. Um, it's almost like they didn't even exist unless you actually went there and knocked down the door. If you are serious about running a business, giving your customers attention 
and responding quickly is what has worked for me inside construction and outside of construction my youtube channels have turned into a full media company my response time to my customers in media is what gets me all these extra jobs i've been making commercials that don't even go on my youtube channel a lot of you have been concerned thinking that they stole my YouTube videos and are making their own commercials with it. No, that's me. I am now a full production company right here in this workshop. I'll leave a link to Jobber in the top of the description. There's a two week free trial. At least download it so that you can start playing with it and get an understanding of what the competition might be doing. And are you living up to that level of professional interface with your customers as the age of our customers gets younger and younger they're gonna want fast digital communication now this job I didn't make as much money as I possibly could have was I qualified for top dollar no this was a learning process and let's just say I, I took a couple thousand dollars profit and invested it into me learning about commercial low slope roof repairs. This project is going to increase my value in the future. I now have a thorough understanding of all the materials and methods to do a low slope roof repair. And I can give a top dollar estimate next time one of these jobs comes in. I do not want to make a habit of doing roofing at almost 50 years old. It's backbreaking work, but somebody's got to do it. And that leads me to my next point. There's nobody out there to do this type of job. In a large city, flat roofs are commercial, and there is so much commercial construction going on. You just look out upon the cityscape, and there's nothing but construction, nothing but apartment buildings and office buildings going up. It's quite crazy. I have some acquaintances that have low slope roof houses. It's not very common, and they needed some repairs done, I don't work for friends and family, but I did offer some suggestions. They basically couldn't get their roof repaired. They can't find anybody to do a roof repair. It's an EPDM deck, basically. It goes off of their bedroom. It's, oh, let's see here, 20 feet by 8 feet. And it all slopes into two different drains. And the way that it was originally built is the drains... The, the roof goes down like this, and then the layers of roofing around the drain are higher. So there's a big puddle and a pond around it, and they needed somebody to do a simple repair. Couldn't find anybody. They're just dealing with ponding water. It will drain, but it has to fill up to a certain height before it goes down the drains. You will find this a lot in larger metropolitan areas. There are big fish, and then there are not really very many little fish because it's so expensive to live in these big cities. Uh, the little fish go off to the suburbs, 45 minutes, an hour away. If you're in a large metro area, sanctuary city, you know how it goes. You got migrants chasing you with squeegees everywhere. <laughs> oh my, you know, you know we're getting down to the end of the video and I can start talking like that. Put questions down below, send them in through Patreon, and we'll get another video out quickly. Thanks for watching, goodbye.